This week we're playing Living End, but in standard with the help of brilliant restoration. Buckle up, it's gonna be a long one. We've got a limited edition Commander playmat for sale, only available until the end of July. You can get regular Stitch or Gold Foil signatures from the entire Commander Clash crew, and you can pre-order it now over at mtgoldfishmerch.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic. And we got a sweet one this week. We are heading to Standard to play Standard Living End. So I know, Living End is Elf, not technically in Standard, but we've kind of built our own Living End deck, just like modern Living End, but with the cards legal in Standard, with Brilliant Restoration being our much more expensive, but very powerful Living End Standard. And there's a couple of reasons I'm hyped for this deck. Uh, reason number one is the deck's just sweet. It's got Shigiki, it's got Colossal Sky Turtles. It plays in a really unique way that no other deck in Standard is playing. So I just love the deck itself. The other reason I'm hyped about this deck is this deck is outside of the disdainful strokes in the sideboard, which could get reprinted in Dominator United. Uh, but Outside of Disdainful Stroke, it is 100% rotation proof. We're like a month away from rotation, but this deck isn't going to rotate in a month. It's gonna be good for a whole nother year. So if you put it together on Arena or in your paper, you should be able to get a lot of use out of it, even though rotation is right around the corner. So let's talk about standard Living End. Jump into some games, see it in action. So if you don't know Living End, Living End is a pretty iconic modern deck. A Living End just reanimates all your stuff. And the way the modern deck works is it's mostly cycling creatures. So you spend your first couple of turns cycling, 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 getting big cyclers in your graveyard. Then you cascade into Living End. Living End gets them back and wins the game. Well, we don't have actual Living End in Standard, but what we do have is Brilliant Restoration, which for seven mana returns all artifacts and enchantment cards from our graveyard to the battlefield. And I hear you wondering, hang on a second, Living End reanimates creatures. Brilliant Restoration reanimates artifacts and enchantments. That doesn't seem the same to me. Well, in our deck, it kind of is because all of the creatures that we're getting in the graveyard just so happen to be artifacts or enchantments. So the main idea of this deck is channel creatures. We have Mirror Shell Crab, a big old crab that we can also discard to counter a spell for three mana. We got Colossal Sky Turtle, a massive flying warded turtle that we can also channel to bounce something or get something back to our hand. We got Crater Tanuki, which we can channel to get a land. We got Sunblade Samurai, which we can discard to put a planes in our hand and gain life. We got Shigiki, which we can channel to get other stuff back from the graveyard. So the idea of this deck is in the early game, we take and just kind of play Play like a normal magic deck. We're colossal sky turtling to bounce your stuff, maybe countering your stuff, ramping to get towards brilliant restoration. And then eventually we get enough mana that we just cast brilliant restoration and we get all of this stuff back because all of these creatures are technically artifacts or enchantments. So that's the goal of the deck. Just like modern living in, we spend the early turns filling our graveyard with channel creatures. And then we have one card that gets them all back and trust that that's going to win the game. Also, we do have our little Shigigi colossal sky turtle loop, one of my favorite loops in standard. Uh, you can use colossal sky turtle turtle to get back Shigiki, and then if you get a bunch of mana, you can channel Shigiki to get back Sky Turtle and other stuff, and then you do it again, and you do it again. It's like the slowest, longest, grindiest source of card advantage, but if your opponent can't lock down your graveyard because it's all based on channel, it's incredibly hard to stop because you can't counter any of it because it's all channel abilities, so we get that as kind of a long, grindy backup plan, or actually part of our main plan as well. Like, if our Brilliant Restoration gets countered, not a big deal. We can just turtle it back to our hand or Shigiki it back to our hand and try again the next turn, so that's the goal of the deck. Other Otherwise, Top Yuri Stomper is just ramp. I mean, our namesake living end, Brilliant Restoration, it's seven mana and it's four white mana. So we need ramp and we need fixing. Memory Deluge finds our combo pieces. Farewell just to keep us alive as we're setting up our big reanimation turn. As far as our mana base, this is where you can see kind of the budget aspects. We only have six rare dual lands. The rest of it, we got a bunch of basic lands because we got a bunch of ways to tutor out basic lands. Field of Ruin, kind of our Evolving Wilds. It also deals with creature lands. Broker's Hideout, eh, it's a fetch land, technically. It comes into play tap, but still it can get any of our basics. And then in the sideboard, we get a bunch of removal and life gain for aggro, and then a bunch of counter spells to deal with control decks. And that is standard live again. That's our budget magic deck for this week. So let's jump into some games and see, can the plane work? Can brilliant restoration be living end in standard? Can we channel our way to some victories? Let's find out. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up. Lucky to pick up some sweet, sweet double Masters 2022 reprints, why prices are cheap? Well, you can snag them all from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, by heading over to cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. Budget magic time. We are trying to living end in standard. 
Brilliant restoration, channeling stuff. I mean, this hand's fine mostly because Memory Deluge will hopefully find us, find us something. I mean, the crab's also not bad. Nice thing about crabs is it's got a big butt. It is one of our, some of our channel things die to Meat Hook Massacre kind of easily. Crab does not. You need a lot of mana to, to Meat Hook away a, a, a crab. Oh, Broker's Hideout. White, white, white. Blue, blue. I think we take green. We take green in case we draw a double green ram spell for next turn. Uh, control A. Well, play the land past the turn. Probably gonna cycle, well, hmm. Yeah, let's not cycle the Triumph. Let's play Field of Ruin past the turn. Opponent, exotic pets, that's spicy. Yeah, I guess we counter that. Grab it, <laughs> grab it out of here. We're gonna have to kill the Hive of the Eye Tyrant at some point because that's going to uh, be able to eat our graveyard. Broker's hideout, well, <clears throat> Yeah, play the planes. I think what we do is blow up the Hive of the Eye Tyrant and then cycle the Triome. Opponent, Luminarch Aspirant, gonna go to combat, gonna put a counter on it. Sure, sure, sure. Gets in hits us. Well, this is as good a time as any to blow up the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Grab an island. We definitely need more action. Hopefully the Memory Daily will help here. Take our beads. Get a token. Well, we'll cycle the Triome. We got all the lands we're ever gonna need. Another crab, okay. There's a brilliant restoration. Oh uh, yeah, let's just broker side out, get an island. So I think we leave up crab and then memory deluge if we don't need the crab. What we'd like to do is find farewell, deal with the board, then set up for the, the brilliant restoration. Opponent goes to combat. The problem is our opponent could have counters. They could have in their main deck. I don't think Esper typically, well, let's memory deluge. I don't think Esper typically plays a ton of main deck counters. They may have like one. Well, Colossal Sky Turtle, Shigiki. Uh, well, play Stomper. Get a land. Uh, Field of Ruin, go. About it. Gets rid of the Stomper. Wandering Emperor. Yeah, let's crab it. We are taking a beating here, but then hopefully next turn, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, next turn we can like Colossal Sky Turtle and Brilliant Restoration. If our opponent has a counter, that's a blowout, but opponent gets and hits us for nine. I mean, if they got a counter, we're probably just dead. Kaido, that's not ideal. Draws a card. Opponent oh, phases out. Well, play the planes. Sky Turtle token and living in do you have a counter in the main deck hopefully not <laughs> all right well double crabs in a sky turtle hopefully that's enough to keep us alive they're all warded all right infernal grass phase the ward well we'll see how much removal our opponents got never found the sweeper opponent cycles a triune Ward three is kind of a big number. Opponent, counter on the token. Wow, the chump attack. All right. So opponent just wants to be able to actually draw a card with Kaido here by the looks. Well, we'll kill the token. Opponent draws. I mean, now we get to swing at the Kaido and hopefully kill it. Tenacious Underdog. Sure. Topiary Stompa. Hmm, killing the Kaido, I guess, is kind of risky. There's one Sky Turtle in the graveyard. I'll go to combat. Maybe we can't do this. Maybe we get it. Ugh, all right, no attacks. Ugh, I don't like letting it live, but I think it's necessary. Headquarters go. Yeah, I think we just gotta try to Shigiki here. We gotta make sure we stay alive. Our opponent getting to draw another turn isn't great, but counter on the underdog. Goes to combat. Double attack, okay. Inferno Grasp. The opponent pays. Crab down. Let's see, one, two, so X1, X2. Shigiki. X2. Get back Crab and Memory Deluge. 
or Sky Turtle rather. Sky Turtle bounce the underdog. Crab kill the aspirant. Draws with Kaido. Replays the underdog. All right, let's see what we can find here. It doesn't get rid of Kaido though. Well, let's memory deluge. Sky Turtle, Sky Turtle. Go to combat, attack Kaido. I mean, this has become an interesting game now, that's for sure. Opponent, gonna let it go. Well, one, two, three. Stomper. Get a land. That's gonna be a grind past the turn. If we can get rid of the Kaido, we'll feel a lot better. Wandering Emperor. Okay. Are they gonna go with the crab? Okay, counter on the tenacious underdog. Goes to combat. Yeah, let's just block. I think we want to Sky Turtle back Shigiki and start doing that stuff. Opponent gets to draw a card. Luminar Gaspirant post combat. Well, all right, Sky Turtle. Get back. Brilliant restoration. We got Planeswalkers that need to die. I'll go to combat, attack Wandering Emperor. Opponent blocks. Well, we will, Brilliant Restoration. Pay for the Spell Pierce. Pass the turn. Land for opponent. Picks up on the underdog. I mean, opponent really needs like Meat Hook Massacre, I think. Goes to combat. I mean, we will block. Kill the underdog. Do they have the Meat Hook Massacre? That's the real question. Draws a card. Opponent. Meat Hook Massacre X7. All right, so we will. Colossal Sky Turtle. Bounce Shigiki. Get Meat Hook Massacred. Pass the turn. We'll do it again next turn. <laughs> Opponent is just refusing to die here. Tenacious Underdog with Blitz. Sure. Gonna put a counter on it. I mean, we still have the answer to this. Yeah. When it goes to combat. So we will, let's see, one, two. So X1, X2, X3, Shigiki. X3, Sky Turtle, Sky Turtle, Brilliant Restoration. Bounce the Underdog. Opponent loots. I mean, so we get to do it. Eventually, this is going to work. Eventually, our opponent's going to stop having the Meat Hook Massacres. And we only really need one turn with our board to win. Greater Tanuki. Right now in the graveyard, we get what? Two crabs in a sky turtle and shigiki. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, uh, brilliant restoration. Get everything back. Pass the turn. This time we have a crab. So if our opponent tries to meat hook massacre for a million. All right, gonna get rid of shigiki, sure. If our opponent tries to cast a big meat hook massacre, we have the answer. And then we just attack and win. And it's not even counterable, so it's not like it can even get spell pierced. Wow, are we gonna take down Esper? What a grind this has been, but you can see it working. It works, it works, opponent. It. Discard the land. Are we done? Do we finally get there? Blitzing doesn't do anything here. Meog Massacre. Crab it. Game, game, yes! Okay, oh, that was good. That was, that was really good. That was surprisingly good. All right, so opponent's playing control, Esper control. Uh, we'll go down a couple farewells. We'll go up negates, disdainful strokes. Maybe fateful absences and endless detours. Those are all cards that we're interested in against control. We can trim a couple Sunblade Samurais. How do we make room? Pony has enough creatures that I don't think we can just get rid of all the farewells. Ah, oh, it's hard to sideboard in that many cards in this deck. Maybe we just can't sideboard in that many cards. Oh, do we cut all, maybe we cut all the samurais. All the samurais. Go one endless detour. Two negates, two disdainful strokes. 
And I guess we, oh, do we gotta go down Memory Deluge? I feel like Memory Deluge is one of our best cards. Maybe a Brilliant Restoration? Can we go down a Brilliant Restoration? We don't wanna flood out on these early. Yeah, maybe we go three Brilliant Restorations. I really want three Farewells, but I don't know how to make it work. Farewell is good if we can deal with the Planeswalkers, basically. You know what, maybe we do have to go three memory deluges. Let's try it like that. I think that's fine. Well, I mean, game one was a, that was a success for our poor little budget deck. It took what, three, four living ends? But eventually, eventually we got them. Always have a hard time against Esper. It's a strong deck. This deck's gonna be interesting because most of it's good cards, a survive rotation. It was like what, Vanishing Verse and Aspirant, which Aspirant is legitimately like one of the best cards in standard. So it is a big loss, but all the Planeswalkers are there. The removal is still there for the most part. I mean, we're gonna keep this. We gotta hit a land and preferably more than one, but I like that we have multiple answers to Planeswalkers. That is, uh, that is big. Because the Planeswalkers are the things that survive our farewell. Gotta assume our opponent's gonna have discard and and more counters now, I would assume. Well, I mean, Field of Ruins, it's essentially a slow evolving wild, so that'll get us an island eventually. These decks often play like a couple of lands, so it's not impossible that we could also get strip mine value sooner or later. Oh no. Is our opponent done after that epic first match? No, don't time out now. Okay, there's the land. It's always anticlimactic when uh when a match ends with the opponent timing out. I would rather us, I mean, I'd rather us win the match given the choice, but if the choice is between, yeah, this is gonna be an issue, isn't it? Do we gotta kill the Tenacious Underdog? It's just gonna come back. I'd rather use this on a Planeswalker, but yeah, I think we have to. I think we take too much damage if we don't do this, because next turn we're probably gonna have to Field of Ruin. Another Farewell. All right, well, play the land. Farewell the Hive of the Eye Tyrant, get an island. This is a big turn, this is a big turn. We got counters for the future, but we don't have counters for this turn. Opponent attacks. So this is our opponent's window to get down like a, a card draw engine. Opponent combat gets and hits us. Down to 19, no Kaido, no Kaido. Okay, nothing, that is that is good news. Now by the land, we still need more blue mana, but Wandering Emperor time. All right, just gonna draw a card, sure. Well, come on, more lands. Ooh, another Hive of the Eye Tyrant. That's gonna be annoying eventually. So opponent gets in, gets to draw a card. Flips the wedding announcement. I don't play Shigiki. Not exciting when you're missing land drops. If it lives for a turn, it could find us a land, but I don't like those odds against our opponent's deck. But our adepts. Land, combat attacks. We will block. Down to 15. Oh God. Oh God. And we miss our land again. Uh, Shigiki. Overgrown farmland. Pass the turn to new, I mean, so I guess what we're hoping for, and I don't have much faith in this working, but what we're hoping for is that we live and then we get to farewell and then our opponent doesn't have a counter. But yeah, being so far behind on lands is a huge, huge issue here. So we take nine, down to six. Opponent passes, we draw land. I mean, yeah, we really, we don't have a choice, right? Like, yeah, I mean, farewell. Uh, artifacts, creatures, enchantments, graveyards. No counter? How about no counter? All right. Yeah, I mean, that game we just couldn't get our couldn't get our mana going, unfortunately. We kept a hand that was a little risky, and uh, it did not pay off. So I'm gonna have a ton of counters. We'll run it back. We're gonna be on the play. I mean, we got 25 lands and a bunch of ramp. Our deck really does wanna hit its lands every turn. Missing land drops is especially painful when you're, when your living end costs seven mana. We're not keeping that one. All right. Well, uh, this is definitely sketchy, but you do what you gotta do. Mm. Yeah, I would rather not have a two lander. I mean, I'll get a forest. Gonna be leaning pretty hard on Shigiki again, I guess. And just drawing lands. Drawing lands is good. Drawing amp spells, also fine. Uh, that's not a land. Well, Shigiki, no, no, no. Are we gonna win game one and then get double mana screwed oh, right out of this game? Opponent, fading hope bounces Shigiki. To the top, untaps. Well, come on, magic gods. If you ever wanted to be good to the jank, this would be a nice time to give us some lands. <laughs> field of Ruin. All right, I mean, Field of Ruin is technically a land. Shigiki, go. Technically, opponent, black mana. 
for a fiend. Now, place Barra's headquarters. Pass the turn. I mean, Rafine is annoying. Gets to start looting. But we are finding our lands, which is nice. Opponent, connives, gonna go Rafine. Discards wedding. Interesting wedding announcement. Down to 19. Oh boy, Kaido. Yeah, that's that's bad news. Well, Shigi. Oh! Wow. Okay, that's. Oh no. Yeah, that's probably came. <laughs> oh no. Wait, how how unlucky is that? How unlucky? Okay, we gotta we gotta look that up because I feel like that's gotta be pretty unlucky. So we had 50 cards in our deck in 21 lands. 50 cards, 21 lands, four one. So about roughly one out of ten times it'll whiff, and that was uh, a very very unfortunate time to be the one. Like very very unfortunate. Well, kill the Rafine. Yeah, it's gonna be very difficult to get back in the game at this point. We we really we we're really counting on that Shigiki not being horrible. Opponent's gonna loot because our opponent has the Kaido, so they have the card advantage engine going. I guess our opponent's having their own land troubles, but they have so many card draw engines. Brilliant restoration. Well, we will pass the turn. If we get a chance, we'll try to kill Kaido. All right, this is our chance. Kill the Kaido. Well, we'll see. The game continues. Oh, it untaps. They must have hit lands by now. All right, opponent hits the land. We still have not hit our lands. Wedding announcement. All right, there's a land. So play the land. Pass the turn. I mean, we're getting close to where we could try to wedding and uh, try to wrath if we can resolve it. Opponent goes to combat. Gonna get in for one. We're gonna take it. Field of Ruin. All right, opponent's gonna sack the clue. I mean, this means I get to discard a hand size, right? But I think this is fine. Okay, we might have overcame that Shigiki whiff. We'll see. Grab a planes. And then Tanuki, get a planes. Discards. All right, we draw Field of Ruin. All right, pass the turn. A better the taps. Opponent's gonna go to combat. Gonna get in, hit us. Sure, we will take it. No, Shigiki. X2. Get back. Field of Ruin. Memory Deluge. I'm guessing our opponent has two basics. We'll see. Brilliant Restoration. So we'll play the land. Field of Ruin, Pathway, Plains. Oh, Strip Mine, Strip Mine achieved. Field of Ruin, blow up a Shipwreck Marsh. Wow, we already got to the Strip Mine mode. We already got to the Strip Mine mode. This is big. Island. Field of Ruin, blow up all your blue mana. Planes. Wow, that is that is pretty good. One planes. A single basic somehow. Opponent might have one in hand. Opponent, tap land. Reckon her bank buster. Sure. Opponent goes to combat. We're gonna bounce with the do we? Hmm. Right now we have Crab Tanuki. You know what? Yeah, let's bounce a token. I mean, we're just going for it. We got the Brilliant Restoration. Brilliant Restoration, get them all back. Should be hard to kill with limited mana. Opponent hits a blue source. Are we taking down Esper? Loth, I mean, Loth is a good card. Loth is a very good card. I don't know if it saves our opponent here though. Make some tokens. Opponent passes. Hmm, well, let's Broker's Hideout. Grab a forest. Shigiki, get a broker's hide out. Get some good stuff in the graveyard though. Grab a island, go to combat, Lolf and Lolf. Takes it. 
We'll pass the turn. I like where we're at. I like where we're at. I like where we're at quite a bit <laughs> about it. Menace is in with the spiders. Sure. But I don't think our opponent's winning this race. Down to 10. Uh, Memory Deluge. Tanuki and Shig... Well, let's go Shigiki and land. Shigiki and land. Untap. Play the land. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six, seven. Brilliant restoration. All right, opponent has disdainful stroke. So that does, that does keep our opponent alive. Yep. So yeah, we'll just pass. We do gotta be careful of our life total. Opponent gonna draw a card. If we lose from here, I'm gonna be so sad. Opponent, land, getting their mana going. Go blanks. All right, let's Shigiki to get back Memory Deluge. Discard Stomper, Crab. Actually, do we need a Farewell? Is that where we're at? Because we're gonna lose our Graveyard, which is a bummer. Yeah, let's discard Crab. So opponent gets rid of our Graveyard, goes to combat. Gonna try to chip in. Well, we will double block one of these Menace Spiders. The Menace on these Spiders is actually relevant. All right, drop to seven. Opponent passes. Well, Memory Deluge. Those are, those are good options, those are good options. Negate and, negate in Field of Ruin. Play Field of Ruin. Pass the turn. Stay on defense. Opponent's gonna draw a card with Bank Buster. What a long, wild game, opponent hits their land. We have stopped the offense, though. We just need to get a little bit further ahead so we can, Tenacious Underdog. We need to get a little bit further ahead so we can start Start pressuring. Well, we will Field of Ruin. Blow up Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Strip mine you. Oh, opponent's floating. Okay, they're gonna draw with Bank Buster. Forest. Cycle. Cycle. <laughs> Broker's Hideout, okay. And a Stomper. Well, play Stomper. Last land. Broker's side out to gain a life. We also gotta be conscious of our clock. No land to find. All right, pass the turn. We're kind of at a weird stalemate. We're hoping this memory deluge breaks us free. We actually kind of want our stuff to trade off in combat, so then we can try to fare well. We don't really wanna exile all of our stuff because we wanna brilliant restoration it back eventually. Wedding announcement. Yeah, we're not gonna spend our counter on that. Opponent goes to combat, opponent passes. Well, let's memory deluge. Disdainful stroke. Well, we will negate the disdainful stroke. All right, so opponent spends their entire hand, stops the memory deluge. Go to combat, attack. Locks. All right, so stuff dies. Opponent goes to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our opponent can blitz. This is a tricky position. Let's discard Shigiki to get back negate. One, two, so five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get back negate. And then Brilliant Restoration. Get back Shigiki, get back Tanuki. I feel like maybe we could have played this more aggressively. We'll see. Spell Pierce off the treasure. We will pay. And pass the turn. Boat it untaps. Land. This has been a ridiculously close game. Yeah, I feel like maybe we should have tried to be more aggressive at some point. Meat Hook Massacre. I mean, this kind of works out though. Maybe. So we go to combat. We attack our opponent. Opponent takes it. Farewell. Actually, do we farewell? We could farewell, but do we even want to? We really just want another Brilliant Restoration. That's what we really want. Or memory, we got a bunch of memory. Wow, where's all of our memory deluges? We got three left. So opponent's at seven, we're at seven. Let's farewell. Actually, enchantments and graveyards? Enchantments and graveyards. Topiary Stomper. 
go. Oh my goodness, did we get there? Opponent pass it. There's a memory deluge. That's what we want to go to combat. Smack ya. Opponent blocks. Drops to three. Memory deluge. Sky turtle. Endless detour. Pass the turd and we found a way. Oh my God, this deck. Found it, cycles Rafid's tower. Living end, standard living end, the longest grindiest game of all time. Opponent's going to go blank us, we will negate that. Opponent's going to negate our negate. We will endless detour that. And win. Oh my God, what a game. Opponent scoops it up. I can't believe we won that. That was like an hour long grind fest, but we got there. That is standard living end going toe to toe with Esper, one of the best decks in most value filled decks in standard. And we both played pretty much through our entire clock and uh, our opponent got some crabs. We got the turtle power, opponent got some crabs and, and we win. <laughs> Sweet. We played long enough arena loss sound, which I guess doesn't take that long these days, but well, that was a that was a good one. That was that was a really interesting and present match for the deck. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Budget magic time. Wee! Whoo! Alright. We're playing some uh, standard living end, and we're gonna try this. Definitely need to hit lands. That's a big one. Shigiki can potentially help. We're putting a lot of faith in the Shigiki, not dying and hitting mana to get to our memory deluges. The memory deluges, I mean, we got, ugh. All right, land Shigiki. We really, really, really need this to live. Uh, but it untaps. Survive Shigiki, survive. Just drawing lands would also be fine. Well, it survive, so we will Shigiki. Broker's hideout. This isn't as good as it looks though, because we uh, we did miss our land drop still, which is awkward. Opponent, Rakdosing? Junding? Junding. All right. The problem with Jund is that you have Graveyard hey, potentially. Oh, that's good. Uh, so we get to Topiary Stomper. Grab a island. Spara's headquarters. Okay, this is, this is shaping up. This is shaping up. So we gotta keep Graveyard hate from happening. Oh, four color, Binding the Old Gods, okay. Yep. And land? No, brilliant restoration. Well, in that case, I think we got a memory deluge for lands. Overgrown farmland. Sunblade Samurai. Play the farmland, pass the turn. This game's gonna get kinda wild. So opponent gets to get a land. Hopefully there's not some bomby thing coming down this turn. So Samurai gets a land. Land. <laughs> Prismatic bridge, okay. So we're going to need to find a farewell in the pretty near future. Colossal Sky Turtle. Play the planes. How do we do this? We have one Sky Turtle, double memory deluge. This is gonna spin into, all right, I think we just pass. We gotta pass, because our opponent's gonna get a, a Zika. Okay, that could have been worse. We get to see a bunch of, so it's it's a Kami War deck that we've played. So that's good, that could have been a lot worse. Basically, we gotta find the Farewell. We gotta wrath the board and then go from there. I mean, if they fire up the Lair of the Hydra, we're gonna bounce it, I think. All right, Lair of the Hydra. So I think this is okay. Opponent goes to combat. Is it better just to Memory Deluge? We can still Memory Deluge. Oh, we can't Memory Deluge. We don't have enough mana. All right, let's think about this. Yeah, we're just gonna Memory Deluge. There's a farewell and the island. Take our beats. We untap, we play the island, we farewell. Artifacts, creatures, enchantments. And a post comes it up! That was enough! Oh my goodness, we didn't even have to finish the game. Okay. Disdainful strokes it. Neg ah! Opponents comes the entire match! <laughs> Really? Just because, is Farewell like a salty card? Do people not like playing against Farewell? Ah, uh, that was easy. Oh, that was gonna be good too. That was gonna be an interesting game. I always like playing against Kami War because it leads to long, interesting games, but sometimes you Farewell them and uh, it literally means Farewell. <laughs> when was the last time a card has lived up to its name as much as Farewell has? <laughs> it's been a minute, it's been a minute. Oh, sweet, <laughs> we'll take it. Budget magic time, we are. Trying to living end in standard, we'll see. Is it possible to living end in standard? Channel, brilliant restoration, wombo, combo. Hmm, maybe our opponent won't show up. We'll take it, we'll take the free win. 
Well, okay. We got a bunch of lands. We got one channeler and we got a wrath, which, all right, appears to be Grixis control. I guess it's probably Grixis vampires. Well, broke your side out, get a forest, pass the turn. Land, blood, at Havista. Well, play the island. Sky Turtle's not bad. That can uh, that can bounce something at least. So we can Sky Turtle into Tanuki or Stomper. I think it's really gonna be about trying to get max value with this, with this farewell. We should have at least two big channelers in the graveyard, which is nice. Opponent, Harvester, Fable the Mirror Breaker. Well, uh, yeah, we're gonna bounce the token. So bounce the token. Untap, pass the turn. Opponent gets to do some looting. I mean, it's really gonna be about this farewell. We should be able to live long enough. We get to ramp here. Opponent discards, discards, draws, draws, goes to combat, gets and hits us. The real question is gonna be, do we play the Stomper? Do we need to, or can we wait? It's better post Wrath, because then we're not killing it. Kaido Suzuki. Well, that is definitely an issue. That does not die to Farewell, and it's gonna draw a ton of cards. Neither of those things are good for us. Well, get a Forest. Yeah, what do we do about a Kaido? Can we do anything about a Kaido? Drawing. Phasing out. Field of Ruin, eh? Well, I mean, I think we just Field of Ruin. Blow up the Xander's Lounge. I don't know how many non-basics our opponent's playing, or how many basics. Grab a Plains. Do you have a Plains? Or a, a basic? All right, opponent does. Well, we will pass the turn. Yeah, no reason to Stomper here. What do we do about Kaido? Maybe we need a better plan for Planeswalkers, because Farewell does not get them. Farewell probably should have a Planeswalker option. Not that it needs to be even better, but opponent goes to combat, gets and hits us, draws a card. But yeah, this Kaido card advantage is just, it's gonna be, gonna be a problem. Opponent draws another card. Oni called Anvil. Sacrifices. Well, I mean, I think we're just gonna farewell here. We draw Sky Turtle, so play in the lanes, farewell. Artifacts, creatures, enchantments. Kaido's still sticking around though. Makes a ninja. Obnixilus to sack it. Oh, so many planeswalkers. Too many planeswalkers. I don't need Makes a devil. Just we take two. Yeah, I don't know if we can beat this many planeswalkers. Opponent passes. We draw another fa farewell. Great card, but not great against planeswalkers in specific. Well. Field of Ruin, Blub the Xander's Lounge. Grab a Plains in case we find Brilliant Restoration. Pona has more lands. Well, one, two, three. Topiary Stomper, get another land. Opponent should have a bunch of removal in hand, I assume. Grab an island. Pass the turn. That's a lot of Planeswalkers. Well, maybe this deck just isn't gonna work. Untaps. Picks up Obnixilis. Yeah, why does Farewell not say Planeswalkers? Why, why, why? Okay. Hits us for four. Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Goes to combat. Attacks. We will block and kill it. Pings us. That does mean we're dead to the OBS next turn. Meat Hook Massacre. Now, um. Pick up the Stomper, I guess. Pona gets to draw. Oh, I make it ninja. Okay. We draw a crab. We're still just kind of planeswalker locked here. Like casting crab doesn't do anything. Stomping doesn't do anything. Shigiki can't get back anything that gets rid of the planeswalkers. Yeah, we just we got planeswalked. Planes walked. I mean, I guess fateful absence. Maybe farewell's not that good. Unfortunately, how do we how do we stop a bunch of planeswalkers? That's the that's the issue. Maybe something like that. We get to play first, and well, a negate's not bad. A negate can be used to stop a planeswalker. <laughs> Imagine that. The bad news is, I'm sure our opponent has some uh, some sideboard cards of their own at this point. Well, play the land. 
Do some shagikiing. Pass the turn. Passes. Broker's hideout. Planes. And then we can shagiki for a land. Opponent could double up Nixilis here, which could be a problem. Pathway. The nice thing about Shigiki too is Shigiki fills a graveyard. Fable of the Mia Breaker. Well, I think we actually just counter that. Fable's pretty good. Passes. Broker side out. So we're getting to the point where we're really gonna want. I mean, we want our we want our payoffs. We're almost to the Brilliant Restoration point. We can get some stuff in the graveyard. Memory Deluge to find Brilliant Restoration would be good. Just drawing Brilliant Restoration would be good. Getting on Nyx list, that would be less good. What do you got, Grixis? What do you got? Tap land. Passing. Well, what's Shigiki? Start filling the graveyard. Hopefully, hopefully hit a land. Okay, we get a forest. Double crab in the graveyard's nice. That is good. That's some good stuff to reanimate. Another Sky Turtle. Well, replay Shigiki. Headquarters. Go. Oh, so as of next turn, we're officially going to have the mana and we're going to have the graveyard for our living end. Can we find it? Found it. Going to loot. Untaps. Draws. Oni call Anvil. Okay. Passing. Well. Discard to Nuki, thin the deck, get a land. I mean, I guess at some point we could just cast a Sky Turtle. Opponent's going to Infernal Grasp. I mean, we might just cast a Sky Turtle this turn. <laughs> that is a that is a thing we can do. Blue, blue, green, green, white, white, white. Uh, we'll just take a take an island, I guess. If we draw Brilliant Restoration, we're casting that for sure. Broker's Hideout. Well, we're just going to cast Colossal Sky Turtle. Broker's Hideout. Thin the deck, get a land. Gain a life. Uh, just grab a forest. That's a sky turtle. That's six five. That's actually a threat here. Fable the Mia break, huh? Good card. Passing. Come on, restoration. Come on, restoration. Overground farmland. We'll go to combat. Smack you with the turtle. Uh, well, turtle beatdowns. I guess play a second one. I mean, this is this is plan B. This is plan B. Play Sky Turtles and hope that they actually kill our opponent. Opponent gets to do some looting. The ward two might actually be somewhat relevant here. Opponent. There's some argument to keeping this turtle in trying to get back Shigiki. Yeah, we'll take it. I'm afraid our opponent's trying to get us to block so they can meet Hook Massacre away the turtles or a turtle. I'm next list, sure. I mean, our opponent's problem is they're like, Literally dying here. They make a devil. I guess they tick up so they, they stay just alive. Okay. Down to 17. About it. Oni called Anvil. Yep. Down to 16. We draw planes. Well, let's cycle this triome. Hit our opponent. Kill the bigger Obnixilis. I think we want our opponent to meet Hook Massacre. Our opponent can attack, get a treasure, use all their mana to Meat Hook Massacre, and then we can just get back our entire graveyard, and hopefully the Meat Hook Massacre uh, plan is off the table. That's gotta be what our opponent's thinking here. It's gotta be, you could see that attack. Uh, we'll decline, we'll go to 14. Oh, all right, Cycle Xander's Lounge. Well, maybe we just win the old fashioned way. Opponent goes attacking. I mean, isn't our opponent just dead on board here? Down to 10. They can gain one, but don't they still just die? Okay, well, <laughs> go go Sky Turtles, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, we were a turn away from the living end, but we'll we'll take the, the Sky Turtle win. That kind of worked. Farewell and Artifacts does seem relevant. You know what, we're gonna win Memory Daily, which let's try it like that. I mean, that was that was a win. That was not the brilliant restoration, but that was that was a sweet win. Turtle power. Turtles in a half shell. Uh, all right, opponents on the play. Frightening. Sounds fine. Faithful absence can deal with a with a planeswalker. Broker side out. I think we got to get a forest first. So we got a way to deal with a planeswalker. We got a plan for dealing with the rest of the board. Spara's headquarters. I don't even know if we want to play Shigiki here. It means next turn we do not much. It might be better to just get a land and then stomp. Yeah, let's do that. Broker's hideout. <clears throat> get another forest. 
I think this is better, but we'll see. See if we regret it. Also might be having some mana difficulties. I feel like black mana is a pretty important color for our opponent. They could have Fable the Mirror Breaker to, uh, to fix all of life's problems. Fable's good at that. Are we getting salty? Okay, there's a land. And Fable the Mirror Breaker? All right. Well, that's basically what we expected. Uh, we'll play an island, Topiary Shkamba, for planes number one. Uh, so opponent does get to loot and make treasures. As long as we can keep from getting planes walked. We're not in the worst shape though because of this farewell. Graveyard's not especially set up for living in yet or brilliant restoration. All right, discards, couple of black cards, including up Nixilis. Glad we're not facing that down. There's a black mana. Opponent gets in, makes a treasure. Sure, sure, sure. Can't do anything about that. Down to 20. Blood Tithe Havista. And Kaido Shushuki. All right, well, we definitely got to kill the Kaido. That's step one. Opponent draws, phases. Yeah, play headquarters. I think this is fine. I think what we do is just pass the turn on our opponent's upkeep, Fateful Absence, the Kaido. And then in theory, untap and farewell our opponent into submission. Would like to dodge a counter. Yeah, we'll see what our opponent does. We can't block this turn. Volt Surge on the Stomper. Should we turtle the token? It's awkward because we're playing on Farewelling, but it's pretty bad if our opponent counters the Farewell. That's what we're mostly worried about. I think we're actually going to, especially since, especially since we have Shigiki, so we can get this back in the future. We just gotta like maintain our life total for now. So get rid of the token. Hope there's not another Planeswalker. Opponent gets and hits us. Sure, 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 down to 17. Able the mirror breaker. Okay, this is exactly what we were hoping for. Cause now we get to Field of Ruin. We get to Farewell. Artifacts, creatures, enchantments. Hard sweep. Oh, okay, pass the turn. And now we're getting close to brilliant restoration time. We're getting close. Opponent. Wow, so many Fable the Mirror Breakers. Sure. One, two, three. Topiary Stomper get a planes as far as headquarters as a land past the turn. We're probably gonna end up bouncing the token. I mean, I guess we don't need to because we can block. If they just chump attack, I think it's fine. Opponent, Hive of the Eye Tyrant. And Blood Tithe Harvester, sure. Yeah, we're gonna let this go. If our opponent wants to chump attack for a treasure, we'll let him. Opponent passes. Well, as far as headquarters, Past the turn. I think we have uh, reached Shigiki territory. Gets to flip. I mean, we get to, we get to get back three things. So we can get like Farewell Turtle, Fateful Absence maybe? Well, apparently needs a mana for something. Gets it. We will kill it. I feel like we might be in pretty good shape now. And eventually we'll find the Brilliant Restoration. Oni Call Anvil, okay. I mean, we're hoping our opponent just runs out everything here, honestly. The main thing that could get us would be a, would be a counter. Opponent, gonna crack, drain us, sure, ping us. Well, Shigiki, X3, get back Farewell, Sky Turtle, and Faithful Absence. Ooh, Memory Deluge 2. Yeah, let's pass for now. Yeah, we're gonna pass for one turn. I think we're gonna try to Memory Deluge. See if we can find like a negate. Farewell with negate backup would be good. We can also get rid of this Hive of the Eye Tyrant. And we can, if we need to, turtle a creature. Soul Sheta. Should we just kill this reflection? Really wanna hold on to Fate Flapsence for a, for a Planeswalker, although I guess we can turtle it back. Yeah, let's Fateful Absence, get rid of Reflection to Kiki Jiki. Abodent. I mean, we're basically just trying to set up a game ending farewell next turn, or mostly game ending. Opponent gonna go to combat, gonna get in, hit us. Sure, sure, sure. Down to 12 for now. Down to 11. I mean, we do gotta be careful of our life total. Ooh, there it is, okay. Brilliant Restoration. Negate. Sky Turtle. Get back Shigiki. 
untap farewell artifacts creatures enchantments so it's only got one blue source so negate should mean this resolves and then next turn it's it's probably restoration time opponent gonna crack the clue to draw a card sure farewell sweeps the board so right now we have one sky turtle in the graveyard all right we'll just pass we would like to get a couple more things in the graveyard able the mirror breaker yeah we'll negate that opponent untaps more sky turtles yeah play shigiki now we're in try to fill the graveyard mode for this brilliant restoration opponent land i mean we will kill the hive of the eye tyrant or just bounce it that might even be better hive of the eye tyrant yeah let's just bounce it Opponent passes. Okay, uh, Samurai channel it. Oh, we're getting so close. We're getting so close. Get a planes. Play the planes. Shigiki. Hopefully mill some stuff. Well, not exactly. Shigiki returns. Next turn. I think next turn is probably the turn. So we get a Sunblade Samurai, two Colossal Sky Turtles. Even that's still pretty good. I guess Meok Massacre could still be an issue. Although we got two, two brilliant restorations. And we can like Sky Turtle back the negate. That's probably what we do. Soul Shatter, sure. Opponent going to pass. Well, Sky Turtle. Get back the negate for safety purposes. And now it's, now it's living end time. Now it's living end time. So we untap. Brilliant restoration. Triple Sky Turtle, Sunblade Samurai, Shigiki, pass the turn, negate in case they got the Miyug Massacre, and that's what we've been trying to do. That is it. That is it. That is Living Ended Standard. I think we did it. It's not as fast as Living Ended Modern, but opponent going to pass. We untap, go to combat, smack you a bit. 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, that's 22. Evelyn. So we can't actually kill the Evelyn, but this can keep our opponent alive. Land and Stomper. Opponent going to block. Go to four. Well, play the headquarters. Pass the turn. Opponent attempts. I mean, Sky Turtle Tron is a pretty effective Tron. That's a lot of flying worded power. And opponent gives us the GG's. And that's standard living end. And we actually, we, we lost our sound. Our power was so high that uh, <laughs> Arena couldn't stand it. But eh, living end. In standard, broke it. <laughs> that was actually sweet. That was super sweet. Well, let's keep doing that. All right, budget magic time. We are playing some standard living end. Cool. This is gonna be interesting. Can we get to these farewells before we are dead? Ugh, maybe not. Probably not, definitely not. Uh, well, we should not have lost the die roll here. Should not have lost the die roll. Play the land, pass the turn. So we can gain two and get a planes with this. Luminarch Aspirant. Well, okay, channel this. Get a planes. Not convinced we can live long enough. One, two, three, four, five. We need like two more turns, but our opponent's just like growing their stuff so much. Pass the turn. I think our opponent being on the play here is just gonna get us. Opponent grows the dork. And this is quite the start with two lands. Do we even show anything? So we get four mana, five mana, dead. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, aggro on the play is uh is quite the quite the drug. Quite the drug. All right, so we will do a little trimming. We'll bring in some of our aggro stuff, more wraths and sunset revelry. Run it like that. That's one of those play draw things where opponent won the die roll, curved out with uh, hasty creatures, and even with the farewells on hand, we were just not fast enough to actually get our our wraths down. I think if we were playing first, we get to farewell and and then likely stabilize and win. But we'll see. We're gonna be on the play of this game, so we'll maybe find out. All right, we're gonna need one more land, but sunset revelry is good. We also we have a million things we can channel, which is sweet. I mean, the channelers are what we want to get to, to get to uh, our living end. All right, there's a land, so play the land. I don't think we revelry yet. I think we want to get full full value out of it. Abundant, land, Goro, Goro. 
The bad news is we don't actually have a Wrath this game. Well, let's Sunset Revelry. Play the tab land past the turn. Opponent flips their Saga. Finds a land, Sunrise Cavalier. Big attack. Well, block and block. Well, let's see if we can find some, uh, some Wrath Skis. We need some Wrath Skis. Play the land. Play Shigiki. Pass the turn. We're probably gonna have to Sky Turtle something here. Opponent land. Tammy Flare. Well, let's bounce the Goro Goro. So at least we don't take damage. We do lose Shigiki. Well, gonna need to find a Wrath. Gonna need to find a Wrath or at some point our living end. Brilliant Restoration, oh, that's a little bit of mana away. Opponent hits us down to 14. Sunset Revelry, but no land. Yeah, I think we're dying. Opponent gets to flip and grow their stuff. Yeah, a lot of hasty threats. Haste seems to be a... Uh... Oh God, and the Raju. Well, I mean, we'll discard this to get a land. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna end up being just a, a little bit too slow again. I mean, this game we're missing land drops too, which doesn't help. So opponent gets in for infinite. A lot of damage. Top area stomper. And a bit too slow. On to the next one. Budget magic time. We are trying a living end in standard. Ooh, all right. Not Esper. Probably something way worse. About it, Dream Root Cascade. Oh, you probably don't know that joke because I cut out all the matches, but we played against Esper for a million, a million times in a row. And after the first one, I just, I've been scooping and our rating has been plummeting. So blue green ramp, probably? Forest, top Yari Stomper. We have those, we know the mana for them, but we do have them. All right, this is looking a little, a little scary. Just like drawing a green source would be nice. If we got a field of ruin to get a green source, that's that's the hard way to do it. Opponent gets another forest. Well, play the planes. Blow up the dream root cascade. Get a forest. Opponent grabs an island. Oh boy, Quandrix Cultivator. So opponent's gonna be getting to the big stuff pretty quick. The real question's gonna be. What do they have that gets around? Ooh, all right, Lair of the Hydra. Well, Field of Ruin, go. We well, can see what our opponent does. We can Field of Ruin, the creature land. That turns on our opponent's dorks. The real question is gonna be how many counters do they have? Opponent gets in, hits us for seven, which that is, uh, that is a lot. Well, discard Tanuki Island. If we Wrath, we probably lose, right? Well, if we don't Wrath, we probably lose too. Top here, he's not her. The problem is they got to Hullbreak Horror Mana already. So if we cast Farewell, they can Hullbreak Horror Master's Rebuke. Okay, sure. I didn't know that was a card, but you got, you got us. Oh, uh, we'll grab an island. Yeah, the problem is Hullbreak Horror. So what we need to do here is clean up the creature land and then Farewell? And if they have all break horror, then they get us. Please activate that. That would that would take away all of our worries. All right, Lair of the Hydra. Well, I mean, we got a shot, I think. So blow up the creature land. Grab a planes. Oh, jeez. Uh. Oh, okay. Well, now we're dead. <laughs> really? Well, I guess that was a punt because we could have done it in response to the activation, but that's a, that's a punt. We'll, we'll call that, I mean, we won't even call that a punt. That is a punt. Could have done it in response to the activation. My thinking was, well, my thinking was not Tamiyo safekeeping. My thinking was we wanted to wait until our opponent we wanted to wait until our opponent tapped out so then they wouldn't uh, be able to use it for mana. So that's what I was thinking is, how do we restrict our opponent's mana as much as possible? Tamiyo safekeeping, it uh, it got us good there. So apparently, apparently we gotta keep Tamiyo safekeeping in mind. Today I learned, is that a card people play in the main deck? I've definitely seen it as a sideboard card. Was not expect, well, really what was, what caught me by surprise is, is really it being a, being a ramp deck. Like that's the kind of card I would associate with like mono green aggro. I would not associate it with, I would not associate it with a, with a ramp deck. 
Well, play the land past the turn. We got some defense, but not much to do with it at this point. Play the land, pass the turn. So we can Tanuki. Like, Memory Deluge would be nice. See what our opponent does. We could crab something here. If they play a ramp spell, we might. Yeah, let's just uh, try to keep our opponent's mana in check. Crab it. Untap. Yeah, play the land. I don't think we want to play the headquarters. We might end up cycling this if we don't draw anything. Opponent. More stomping. Well, just guard Tanuki. Get a plane. So opponent, all about that ram. That's for sure. So grabs a basic. We find more planes. Well, field of ruin, go. The opponent should be able to turn this on. And now we're kind of back to the same two islands out of the deck. I'm almost tempted to field of ruin. I wonder how many islands they're playing. Cause like spell pierce could get us. We really need this farewell to resolve. Well, let's cycle. I mean, if they got Spell Pierce, they got Spell Pierce. Can't really do anything about it. Uh, land Farewell. Artifact Creatures Enchantments. Okay, Fading Hopes. I mean, that's fine. We got a, we got a handful of Farewells. Opponent, Tab Land. Imrath again. We need to find our living end. We're getting to the point where it would actually be pretty sweet. Well, Farewell. Same, same deal. All right, Imrath down. We just really don't want our opponent drawing cards. That would be, that would be ungood for us. Eureka moment to draw some cards. No land. Ooh, there's memory deluge. Well, let's, oh, we don't have the blue mana. Yeah, let's get rid of the Hall of the Storm Giants. Grab an island. Yeah, I think we just pass opponent. All right, well, we will also Memory Deluge. Well, let's go Shigiki and... Eh, Shigiki Stomper's fine. Well, the grind is on. Pony gets to draw some cards. Pony's probably looking for lands. Plays the land. Quandrix Cultivator gets even more lands. Quandrix Cultivator, e even more lands. And a bonus passes. Well, we will play a Topiary Stomper. We will get a land. Pass the turn. A big Shigiki could be pretty good eventually. Stomper is big enough they can't use that fight spell on it. But two counters on a creature, return target creature, planeswalker to its owner's hand. Sure. Uh, well, let's Sky Turtle the Cultivator, the big one. Tamio safekeeping. All right, so opponents. Trying to be aggro, hits us to 13. I guess it's kind of working. How do we keep from dying here? That's the real question. Yeah, let's stomp her. Grab a land. Pass the turn. Untaps. Three cards in hand, goes to combat. Gets in with a big cultivator. Well, we will take it. Down to eight. Well, uh, memory deluge. Sky turtle, brilliant restoration. I mean, Brilliant Restoration's the one. Can we can we actually get to it? That's the question. That is the question. Uh, let's play another Stomper. Just keep stomping. Grab an island. Pass the turn. So what we're trying to do is set up for set up for the Brilliant Restoration next turn. Opponent. Hull break horror. Okay. Well, oh boy, we could just be dead. Hull break horror is so brutal. Uh, bounce it. Do you have an instant? You only got two cards in hand. Are they instants? So, wait, what's fighting what? They're gonna try to hull break horror and, okay. I think this is okay. So they bounce a stomper. They fight a stomper. We bounce hull break horror. We bounce cultivator. Opponent untaps. Oh, so we still got a, oh my God, coma, okay. Well, this is kind of okay though, because Farewell does get rid of it. So this is okay. This doesn't just beat us. We still gotta figure out how to beat the whole break core in the future. So we get hit down to five. We untap, opponent makes a coil. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Farewell. Exile all creatures, artifacts, enchantments. 
Uh, we'll float a mana. Stomper. Get a planes. Pass the turn. But how do we stop a whole break horror? That's a real question. Well, it passes. Play the land. Yeah, I think we gotta keep waiting for now. Go to combat, attack you. There's Hullbreak Core, but one, two, one, two, one, two. Shigiki, get back two turtles. What? No. Target player shuffles three cards from their graveyard into their library. Oh my God. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, crab. This Quandrix command is going off. Counter the command, because if not, we're gonna die. Get back our stuff. Bounce Hallbreak Horror. Memory Deluge. Hallbreak Horror. Staying alive. Staying oh, Endless Detour is big. Is this our shot? Can we get a lethal board? Crab, turtle, turtle. Oh yeah, I think this is it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Living end? Memory Deluge. So opponent's desperately digging for an answer. The sweet thing about Endless Detour is it kind of is an answer to Hullbreak or opponent. Finds a couple guards. We build a huge board. We pass the turn. Are we gonna win this? Is there actually a world where we win this? Opponents get so many Hullbreak horrors. Opponent plays a land. Titan of Industry. Okay, sure. It's a crab. Gotta pay the ward if you wanna get rid of it. Pays the ward. Quandrix Cultivator. So let's think about this. If we counter this, 6, 12, 18, all right, so Endless Detour the Cultivator. Actually, that won't work. All right, so Cultivator resolves. Yep, we just gotta go strength for strength here, I think. The opponent gets a land. Yeah, I think we should have, I guess we should just counter the Titan of Industry. I'm so afraid of the whole break horror coming down, but it can't come down this turn. Opponent passes. Another brilliant restoration, that's interesting. That makes this choice pretty easy. We go to combat, we attack with everything. And blocks, and blocks. Sure. Kill a token, I guess. Opponent goes to nine. But now we Brilliant Restoration. Get everything back. Pass the turf. I'll break horror. Endless detour it. Imareth, sure. Wow, we got there. We got there. Might have taken us an extra turn because we didn't uh, counter that Titan of Industry, but we did get there. Opponent passes. Well, we untap. Do we win just by attacking? Is it that simple? So opponent blocks here, blocks here, blocks there. They should still be dead, right? Big attack. I think this should do it. Blocks, 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 and eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we found a way. We found a way to beat. Well, we're being in this other, uh, <laughs> this other endless detour seems kind of essential here. We found a way to overcome the. Wow, the Hullbreak Horror X a million. All right, run it back. Run it back. Uh, the deck kind of works. It kind of works. It's not always pretty, and there's occasionally some puns, but it's doing its thing, and its thing's actually like kind of sweet, especially for a for a budget deck. Can we somehow beat the ramp deck? Can we overcome the whole breaking? Now our opponent knows what we're doing, which is a little sketchy. Ooh, all right, we're gonna keep this. We do need another land, but we're gonna we're gonna try this. Broker side out. Snag us a forest. Abundant. Well, Broker's Hideout, snag us an island. Let the great ramp battle begin. Land tapped. Well, we will play the land past the turn. One of the nice things about all these channel cards is we can play them as instants, which is pretty powerful. Well, this guard Tanuki planes. Play a land. Yeah, I think we play Shigiki. It could hit us a land in the future. Pass the turn. The showcase style on the Kamigawa cards is sweet. That's a nice looking digital piece of cardboard. About it. Imareth. Uh, yeah, well, we will counter that. 
One, two. Shigiki. Please don't fail a Shigiki. Field of Ruin, I guess. And pass the turn. About it. I mean, we're getting close. We're getting close to where we want to be. Opponent's going to top area stomp. Sure. Grabs a land. Passes. Oh, there's the endless detour. All right, let's just pass. I think our plan here is use Field of Ruin to get blue mana. Another Imareth. All right, well, <clears throat> yeah, this is awkward. Can we let this go? You know what? I think we can. And then we can turtle it. All right, yeah, let's Field of Ruin. Opponent's gonna float, that's fine. We'll grab an island. And yeah, you can MRF. And Zeus's many journeys. Well, what we kind of really want here is honestly just, just farewell. Memory deluge. Farewell and, oh, probably endless detour. When are we gonna land? All right, play the land, farewell. Creatures enchantments. Sweep them. Pass the turn. Opponent passes. We need one more white source. Yeah, let's just pass. I guess we're playing the, the control role for the time being. Uh, we will discard a... Oh, we're discarding a hand size? That's a bummer. Discard a Sky Turtle. I think what we do here, hilariously, is if we don't need to do anything else, we probably just discard Shigiki to get back lands. So Shigiki, X2... Get back, Sky Turtle. Get back, Broker's Hideout. All right, play Broker's Hideout. Grab a Plains. And yeah, I guess we're back to discarding, discarding Sky Turtles, unfortunately. Discard a Sky Turtle. Don't run taps. Passes. Mm, one, two, three. Sky Turtle. Get back Shigiki. Uh, all right, we untap. Play Shigiki. <laughs> now that we got two of them, run out of Shigiki. Pass the turn. Memory Deluge, okay. I mean, at some point we are going to, we're going to try to resolve our, our living end and win. We're not quite there yet, but soon. Opponents passing. Well, discard Shigiki, Sky Turtle, and Broker's Hideout. The slowest ramp plan of all time, Broker's Hideout. Grab a Plains. Yeah, I mean, I guess we just pass. We're not there yet, but soon. What are we discarding? All right, more memory deluges. Yeah, we'll let that go, I guess. Uh, we'll discard the land. All right, opponent plays a land. Azusa's many journeys, sure, we don't really care about that. And a field of ruin. And a Quandrix cultivator. When are we going for it? Opponent passing. Well, that's memory deluge. Tanuki and disdainful stroke. Untap. Shigiki, go digging for a land. We got way too many cards in hand. Get a Field of Ruin. Replay Shigiki. Tanuki. Get a land. We're almost out of basics. All right, pass the turn. Discard two. So we'll discard a turtle and probably a brilliant restoration for now. All right, all right, all right. We're trying to get enough mana that we can brilliant restoration with some amount of protection. Opponent going to fight the Shigiki. Now let's just discard the turtle, pick it up. Opponent gets and hits us, sure. Passes, opponent has so much mana. Not making this easy. So now what do we do? One, two, three, four. Memory deluge, draw even more cards. Headquarters, Brilliant Restoration. Play the Headquarters, pass the turn. Discard a Brilliant Restoration. Opponent gets to flip the Saga. Opponent goes to combat, gets and hits us. Well, okay. Sky Turtle, farewell. 
Lan. Farewell. Get rid of the creatures. And I guess enchantments. <laughs> Opponent negates. Okay. Sure. Opponent untaps. Frogheemoth. Well, we will disdainful stroke that. We'd love to fight a battle over this. If we fight a counter war, that might let us resolve the brilliant restoration, which is that is what the the long term plan is. If we can get to it, going to attack. Sure, we will take it down to 12. Well, Sky Turtle. Get back Shigiki. Untap. Yeah, let's cast Tanuki. That's the turn. This has been such a grindy, incredibly grindy game. Opponent. Quandrix Command. Going after the Sky Turtles and trying to bounce our Dork. Well, one, two, three. How much mana does our opponent have? One, two, three. All right, let's Endless Detour it. Untap. So opponent's gonna try again. Uh, so discard Shigiki, get back a Sky Turtle. Opponent goes attacking, down to six. I just don't know if we can resolve the Brilliant Restoration. We haven't really found the window for it. At some point, we're gonna have to go for it though. The problem is we're getting low enough on life or if it gets countered, we could just lose. If it resolves, life is wonderful. We gotta expect our opponent has a bunch of counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, oh, Brilliant Restoration. <laughs> Test of talents. Okay. Well, we will endless detour it. Yeah, Test of Talents is a problem. That is a problem. Oh, it resolved though. Okay. Well, that is better than expected. We'll play the broker side out to gain a life. This does mean we're out of we're out of our loop for the moment. All right, pass the turn. Well, okay, we got stuff on the board. Opponent on taps. We do not have endless detours at the moment, which is scary. Opponent, Titan of Industry. Okay, but that doesn't beat us. We're gonna kill a Tanuki. Make a dork. No attacks. Well, discard Sky Turtle. Get back Shigiki. Untap. And we do this without timing out. That is the other, the other big challenge here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Ugh, I think we just got to pass. Oh my God, we're playing way too slow. Pass the turn. We got to do everything on our opponent's turn. Actually, do we? Do we die if we pass? That's the question. Let's play Tanuki. And now we'll pass. Opponent untaps. Eureka moment to draw some cards. We might actually just be timing out here. Opponent finds Lair of the Hydra. Bondrix Cultivator. Now well, opponent's kind of running everything out. Yup. One, two, well, Shigiki. X3. Sky Turtle. Detour. Brilliant Restoration. Get it back. Untap. Opponent has what? One, two mana. All right, pass the turn. Play a Stomper. No land. Play a Stomper. Actually, no. Just pass. <laughs> About it, Undeps. Frog he muff. Sure. We don't really care about that. At this point, we mostly care about timing out. Opponent attacks. Uh, block and block and block and, and stuff. I mean, opponent tapping out during their turn is pretty good for us. Cameo safekeeping to make it indestructible. Sure. Opponent's down to two cards in hand. Or uh, not counting the test of talents. Well, Sky Turtle. Get back Shigiki. Shigiki. Get back. Sky Turtle, Endless Detour. Well, probably just a land. <laughs> Untap, play the land. Go to combat. This is such a tough position because of the clock. That's the big issue. Pass the turn, play a Stomper. Pass the turn. I don't know if we can do it in time, honestly. I'm not sure. 
Founder's Cult Vader, that's fine. I don't know if we can win in time. This Titan industry is big. At some point, we're probably gonna have to bounce the Titan of Industry and start attacking, and that point might be right now. Uh, all right, Endless Detour. Get rid of the Titan of Industry. Tamio Safekeeping. Okay, that's fine. Two cards, only two. Sky Turtle. Get back Shigiki. I mean, eventually this value should win out, right? Shigiki. X2, Sky Turtle, and Tanuki. Untap, Tanuki. Pass the turn. One minute 26. Is this gonna end in a timeout? This might end in a timeout. Opponent, Stomper. What we need is to get rid of this Titan of Industry, but that is proving to be challenging. Now Sky Turtle. Get back Shigiki. Shigiki. Get back Sky Turtle Endless Detour. Untap. Endless Detour Titan of Industry. Test of Talents. Endless Detour Test of Talents. Get rid of the Titan of Industry. Go to combat. Do some attacking. Opponent, Fading Hopes, a Tanuki. Opponent's out of cards. They are officially out of cards, but can we live long enough for it to matter? What are we doing, opponent? What are we doing? Opponent blocks and blocks. We kill a Cultivator. Yeah, the clock is our big enemy here. It is our big enemy. So a Cultivator dies. We play Tanuki. Pass the turn. Opponent's gonna draw a Titan of Industry. Disdainful Stroke, Titan of Industry. 30 seconds, that's not a ton of time. Not a ton, a ton of time. Opponent goes to combat. Opponent passes. Big attack. We're gonna be just in time or just out of time. Bounce the token. Well, grab the Hydra. Oh, we're just gonna run out of time, aren't we? We're just gonna run out. Opponent blocks and blocks and blocks. Stuff dies. Why is our clock running? Why is our clock running, Arena? Oh no! Oh! It goes down as a loss in the record book, but we were literally 100% to win. Like, we know Test of Talents is on the top of the deck. There was probably some of those little punts we made earlier in the game came back to get us, really. Like, that that just slowed things down. Well, this might go down as the longest budget magic of all time, but the deck proved itself. I mean, it proved itself. It was gonna get there, it just doesn't get there quickly, and too much shocking, too much shocking, too much thinking, not enough time. <laughs> so what did we learn this week about standard living ended? Wow, this deck played some long games. I think this might be the longest ever Budget Magic episode. I have to go back and check. Maybe there's one in the distant past that was longer, but we played a lot of like 50 minute hour long games, including that game that we, oh my goodness, I can't believe we lost to that Simic Ramp deck where we timed out one turn short of lethal after the longest, grindiest, most ridiculous game of all time. So record wise, it's a little bit convoluted. So we technically finished three and two, although one of our losses was the Simic Ramp match, where we took and were 100% to win. Like if we had 10 more seconds on the clock, we had a huge lethal board, our opponent was empty handed, we knew what they were drawing. They were drawing a counter spell that did nothing because we put it on top of their deck. So we were 100% to win, but we ran out of time. One turn too early. And I will say, I probably misplayed that. Like we probably need to get aggressive a little bit sooner. I think we waited too long to actually start attacking and played it a little too safe. So I think it's my fault, but that's one that we really would have won. On the other hand, one of our wins was a match where we farewelled and our opponent scooped the whole match to farewell, which I guess is farewell living up to its name, but that felt a little bit like a freebie. That was our one short match. So I think three and two is probably about what the deck deserves. I will say we played Esper and we beat Esper in another hour long match. So many hour long matches with this deck. And then I ran into Esper three more times in a row and just scooped as soon as I saw they were Esper because I didn't want to sit through that again. I mean, we don't need two hour long matches against Esper in one video. So what do we learn about the deck? And I think on one hand, it does 
does live up to the living end name. Like almost all of our wins were because of brilliant restoration, getting back a ton of stuff from the graveyard and winning with those things that it reanimated. On the other end, there is one way that the comparison really falls apart. If you think about modern living end, it's a pretty fast deck. Usually like on turn three, it's cascading into living end, getting back a ton of stuff. This deck is not nearly as fast. We were like casting our living end, quote unquote, our brilliant restoration on like turn 10, turn 15, turn 20. And it was still overwhelming our opponent and we could just cast it again and cast it again. And if our opponent wrapped the border out with our stuff. So it did work and it did kind of play like living end, but it is like the slowest version of living end. You're not going to get those super fast, like, you know, cycle a couple creatures living end beach on turn four or something. That's not going to happen with this deck. But the deck is incredibly recently. We saw it fight through Esper. We saw it fight through the Zimic deck. The deck just grinds like because of Colossal Sky Turtle in Shigiki and Brilliant Restoration and all of our channel effects, the deck just keeps grinding and grinding and grinding and eventually hopefully gets there, assuming we don't time out. The biggest weakness of the deck, I would say, is actually just aggro. Like the way we lose with the deck is our opponent being an aggro deck, our opponent being on the play and just like curving out. And the one downside of all of our channel things, even though they're super powerful, like Mirror Shell Crab or Colossal Sky Turtle, they're a little bit inefficient. Like honestly, it's three mana mana leaks. It's two mana unsummons. So they're not super efficient. Our curve looks ridiculously high because all of our channel stuff and the deck's just not super fast. So if you run into aggro and don't hit farewell in time or whatever, things can go poorly. On the other hand, the deck can grind with mid range for days. Like as long as our graveyard doesn't get shut down, we can dig and grind with everyone. We actually had that strip mine lock game too, which was hilarious. Standard decks, some of them don't play that many basic lands and we we're able to do like field of ruin, Shigiki locks where we're like strip mining our opponent and eating away their mana. It was just hilarious. I love this deck. This is one of my favorite standard decks. Definitely my favorite budget standard deck that we've played in a very long time. The deck's just super cool. So that's standard living end. If you're looking for some really long, grindy, interesting games, would definitely recommend it. It's going to survive rotation. I find it super fun to play. Just be warned if your goal is to like hit your daily quest on arena as quickly as possible. No, 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 you don't want to play this deck. This is the furthest thing from what you want to play, if that's your goal. But if you want to play some really interesting, long, grindy games and do stuff that no one else's standard is doing and do it all on a $90 budget, well, Standard Living End is probably the perfect deck for you, not just now, but even after rotation and Dominionaire United in a couple of weeks. So anyway, that is Standard Living End. That's been our budget magic for this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you soon.